Hi, I'm reading the Finnish translation of Margit Kennedy's book Interest and Inflation Free Money. Years ago I knew a guy who studied economical history and he was very enthusiastic about this book and thought that it should be implemented because otherwise there will be so big problems with the money system. And he thought that the problem is that the variety is a woman because otherwise this makes so much sense that it should be applied. He was very, very convinced and enthusiastic about this. But of course he was not the writer himself, so it was not his task. It is some, some task of the more influential persons to decide. Here, at first, what sucks my eye is a contradiction to my own thoughts because it mentions that the rich get richer and the poor get poor and that's the kind of what ought to happen if you have different kinds of people in a society where some are skilled and work for the common good and are rewarded for it and others are unskilled and do harmful things so they both get less paid and get punished so that happens that they get poor in comparison to the more skilled ones that's what kind of justice demands and that's what keeps the society well working and good for living and it if one accepts the fact that some get more money than others, so then those persons with the better understanding who get a bigger amount of money, they ought to kind of be allowed to decide where do they place that money, because if they have a better understanding, then maybe they can decide in more beneficial ways. And the way to make them decide in beneficial ways is that their selfish interests should be included. And so I think one way should be that instead of borrowing the money they could kind of gain profit from the from the companies to which they pro borrow money or something of the kind so they would have no power to decide but they could estimate to whom they trust so that they can better money but of course there's the problem that if they don't want to borrow any money to anyone so they just get some profit from giving it on a bank account so then it goes all wrong because they are not doing anything any useful things for the society and still they get more money. So there I agree about this that there should be no profit from keeping this money on a bank account. Generally I think that problem with market economies it is with the inheritance right which gives some people better starting points than others. There should be free education, free spreading of information and no inheritance right before one could achieve the same starting points and of course there should be kind of health care, basic health care guaranteed for those who have problems with that. So this book concentrates on the success and that money should be a service for which you have to pay for so that you would not want to keep the money for long on a bank account but kind of just get rid of it in order to to gain something more something of what you want and there was an experiment made in Österreich in the town of Verl Virgil and there they were very satisfied 
with this money, it went kind of changing hands over once in a day during uh, the year, while ordinary money changes hands only some one, once in one and a half months, say this book, but I don't know whether it's so. So they always did everything at once, paid the taxes in advance and they got extra employment, 25% and everything flourished economically, so it was a very successful experiment. And further than this, I have not read this book, but it sounds like, like it ought to be a thing to do.